Welcome back to another one of my sheep videos. Today we're going to be covering out of season breeding, but this time we are in season. What we're doing is synchronizing estrus in these two ewes. The speckle face ewe, um, for those of you outside of the United States, we can register Dorset crosses with the Dorset Club here. The United, uh, in the United States, we have the Continental Dorset Club. We register them as Dorset Advantage. So I'll reference Advantage ewe throughout my videos if you catch this and help you understand. Now behind this big U is a South Down U. We're done with our show season. I'm a little behind. It works for me, it's been really busy. Um, it's just really busy this time of year anyways. And then freight flows and things of, of goods has caused some differences, but I digress. Now we'll get back to the cedars on the, I'll talk about the cedars. So I've, I'm kind of lagging behind and I want to get these ewes synchronized to get them bred. We're going to be shooting for late March, early April lambs with them. Not ideal, but I have other lambs that should be born. I'm starting to question my ram, but his ram bullets may not be the best right now. So I'm going to cedar these ewes. They're not being bred to the ram I have. They're getting bred to somebody else. South Down's going to, obviously going to get bred to a South Down. This Dorset Advantage ewe is going to get bred to a Dorset. And so we'll get started on that. Here I have just the two I need here in this plastic bag. Oops, I dropped it. Here we go. All right, here we go. It's the, the applicator and two cedars in there. You see their little tails, I hope. So these little cedar inserts go in the used uh, vulva and go in the vaginal canal. And they contain progesterone. I believe it's a 0 0.03 milligrams. Can't remember off the top of my head and uh, I didn't write it on my notes but anyways you can look it up on the insert for the for the cedars themselves c-i-d-r is how it's spelled and help with one of the greatest things about it is it helps promote out season breeding especially if you have a breed that doesn't do out of season breeding like the dorsets do south downs I know they can be bred for a little earlier, I've seen the U come, uh, our South Down come into estrus early. For fall, I could have bred her for fall lambs, but being there, the show ewes will skip them on the that. We'll leave that for when they become brood ewes. It also helps promote out of season lamb supply. So that if, like here in the United States, we'll be able to have more of a consistent lamb supply throughout the year. Um, lamb is a little bit different here in the United States than it is in the rest of the world, especially in the way it's produced and marketed. So it, it kind of lets us kind of catch up to maybe what some other places are doing and also me the demand that like beef is a little more and pork is a little more available year round. Now, these also help you synchronize the breeding time and lambing time. And if you're gonna artificially inseminate, get that into play so you can inseminate properly on the right day. Um, Cedars have been around for a little while now. We're going on 12 to 13 years. They were approved in October of 2009 for the use in sheep, which is really great because we didn't have much before that. Um, we had some things people were trying, but now we're really kind of getting into it. It really helps us improve the sheep so we can uh, get things going. For me, I really enjoy the cedars to be able to help me lamb. There, there's something new I'm gonna try this year. I've looked into it, I've waited. Instead of natural lambing, I'm gonna start doing more cedars so they can all lamb when I have, it's at a convenience for me when I have time. And I can schedule that time to be at home for when they lamb in case I have to pull anything. Um, progesterone is the hormone that is delivered by the cedar. And so we'll get, uh, we're gonna get over here and get started. How it works is I'll insert it in the vaginal canal in an upward direction and squeeze the plunder and push it in. That's how, how it's inserted. You also have to lubricate the tip so that it goes in. It's not gonna be uncomfortable for them. And it'll be very, they, they'll jump around if it's not. You just want it to easily glide in. Once it's in, you'll leave it in for 12 to 14 days. I've had other people tell me they do 10 days and it works just fine. There's a, uh, within an hour of the insertion of the cedar, you get a rapid increase of progesterone that is absorbed through the skin of the vaginal wall and it gets mixed into the bloodstream at that point. And you get the maximum concentrations of progesterone in the bloodstream in an hour after insertion. 
Now, once it's removed, the cedar is removed, it causes a rapid decrease in progesterone and the, it's the same type of hormone response when the corpus luteum is ready to be released. And that's the egg discharge from the ovaries in mammals. And, and it applies to sheep, people, uh, dogs, cats, you know, just works at a little bit different pace sometimes with some of the other critters. Now, the plastic portion of the cedar is made out of nylon and it's coated in a silicone skin, a silicone rubber. And that silicone is what's containing the progesterone. So I'm gonna be wearing gloves. I, I, although that hormone's probably not gonna bother me much, I don't really want it on my fingers. Um, so let's get started. I think I went over some of the, the quick notes I wanted to discuss on things and the points I wanted to make. But especially synchronized lambing is what I really like about it. And then I can bring both of these ewes into estrus again. They just had it three days ago, but it's going to go in and they're probably going to cycle right on time, but this will just help me promote it and get them bred. And so that way we can shoot for them late March lambs and get them lambed. I prefer a lamb, use the lamb earlier in the year, but our program's getting along now. This new sheep flock I've got is starting to get along where I can start lambing a little later, have a few later lambs and be just fine. So here we go, let's get started. I'll do the best I can with this shoe. She doesn't like the rear quarter of her touch. So uh, what I've already done off screen is I've completely sanitized my applicator. I won't show you that, but you can easily do that in the dish uh, mechanical dishwasher at the house or some, some cleaning solution. Um, I've cleaned it so, cause it gets used on different sheep. I don't want any cross pathogens or maybe cross contamination that can occur from that, uh, maybe from species to species, because that also gets used on goats and sheep. So I'm gonna clean the, like I said, this shoe doesn't like it. This back end touched on her. But I, I go down and I come to the sides and I'm gentle and I clean her vaginal area that we're gonna be using. I have a couple different rags. Let me get her back into view. That, hang on honey that um, I, for different sheep. I'm gonna use one rag on her, one rag on the other. Uh, I like to promote quality versus quantity. And it seems to be working for me so far. Now, here's the applicator. And we're gonna insert the cedar so that this tail, cause it's gonna go in the animal this way. And so you want the tail of the cedar to come out this way. These little wings fold up. Oops, I blocked it. So these little wings fold up like this and you can put the tail down in there like this. You keep it pointed up. It's got a curl already and you put it in and it kind of locks into place like that. Now she'll probably jump again because like I said, she's jumpy on that rear quarter. I'll put some lubricant here on this portion and shoe fly, we'll put it up in there into the, the, her vagina and get going. I lubricated the tip. And now there's plenty of it on there. There we go. And you just hold, the, hold it in your hand. I have to bend down because the sun's so glaring. Hold it in the hand like this and we'll squeeze with our back of our palm, if you wanna hold it that way, or if they got big thumbs like me, you can just push in. So here we go. You kinda of go in and upward. She may be really jumping. Hopefully the other you will uh, give us a lot better, there we go. Oh, come on, girl. Of course, I, you know, some of you may be thinking I wouldn't like that either, but she's just jumpy sheep in general. And we, here we are, we just scared the poo out of her. Boom, that's how it works. It's real quick and there's a little tail hanging out. See that? She's good to go. Let's move over to the south down. All right, we've got our south down you. We'll uh, clean her up. No, some of you ladies probably saw on the other way I was cleaning her the wrong direction. 
She was an estrus before. There's some remainder on her, the junk, the, the discharge, I should say. So we're cleaned, got her cleaned up and do the same thing with our other insert. As you know, she's a lot less, a lot less jumpy. So it's T-shaped, that tail. I take it and I like to put it in with the natural, uh, I enjoy, not enjoy this, but I like to put it in so the curl's already up as best as possible. And then I fold the T-shaped wings in, get it down in there. That way, the the T the one of the wings isn't facing up on this groove at the top. There it is. It's that quick and simple. If you have any questions, comments, put them in the uh, comment section below. I'll put some links to things. Well, not necessarily links. You can look up some of the stuff yourself um, and choose where you get them. These, uh, these, these particular ones I got from local, but Premier One in the United States has a good supply. I'm usually on hand. You can get it from other suppliers, but uh, other sheep suppliers or whatever you may have in your area, your veterinarian or cousin, brother-in-law, your sister's brother, or whatever, uh, may be able to get them for you at a discount somewhere. And you do what you can, and with, with what you can where you're at. Um, these things vary in price. They're not inexpensive. I think they're kind of pricey when you buy a whole bag that's like $138. But in all reality, when you break it down to an each, um, it's pretty inexpensive. Especially when you consider the convenience they can provide to you as a sheep producer and the time savings that may be involved, especially at lambing season, instead of stretching lambing season out over a three, four month period, you can hit it all in seven days and weigh yourself out then. So thank you, I'll do what I can when I can, where I can and how I can. Uh, like, subscribe and save me as you're one of the many, probably other people you follow. But uh, thank you for watching and viewing this. I appreciate the time you've, uh, you've spent watching.